yes so hello everyone and welcome to this live stream my name is rohit gautam and today we are here so we are going to discuss about a very very important vulnerability so that vulnerability is the remote code execution that has been found in the big ip servers okay so we are going to see this the vulnerability is very very critical which is found in the big ip f5 servers that we are going to see the exploitation as well and we are also going to see how you can find this vulnerabilities into the servers and you can utilize them for recon as well as for bug bounties you can just report to n number of targets which are vulnerable to the latest remote code execution exploit of the big ip f5 servers why it is so much important you just see this particular article just see this particular article you can see critical rce flaw cvss score is 10 which affects the f5 big ip application security servers so all the servers are given a cvss score of 10 which is extremely high severity and which is very very critical so these types of servers are identified to be vulnerable and the vulnerability that is there is a remote code execution all right so even the nvdnist.gov has a released advisory stating the vulnerability as a critical one wherein the score is given as 10 the cv id is assigned 2020 5902 all right so we have now identified that what is the vulnerability name and what is the vulnerability number which is given now let's directly jump on and see how can you identify this vulnerability into many targets so for this presentation i have given the name as cve 2025902 for fun and profit where we will exploit big ip f5 servers okay so this is going to be a live exploitation for your better understanding and you will understand that how it is done so first thing it was released on july 3rd f5 networks tweeted that big ip traffic management user interface that is called as tmui traffic management user interface has a remote code execution vulnerability which has given the id number 2020-5902 all right so recently they started being circulating all the types of exploit codes onto the internet so this was one of the exploit code which was submitted or uh, and you can see into the exploit code it is it is written https host the host is the particular target server slash tmui we have already seen tmui login.jsp and then there is a endpoint file read.jsp and the parameter which is file name equals to etc pass wd which is our payload which is the particular file that we are going to read from the target server similar type of more payloads are given for reading different types of file which is big ip dot license file or auth properties dot jsp which gives the authentication properties and the configuration file as well all right so we can identify if any of the server is vulnerable use using this particular nmap script so there is a nec script which has been written and the source is given wherein you can download the nec script using the wget command which is given over onto the screen and then you can run the particular nec script and you will be able to identify if the target server is vulnerable or not it is only identifying if it is vulnerable but we have not yet exploited it okay so once you are in the nmap script it, you are going to see output something like this wherein you will be able to see the vulnerable big ip tmui rce vulnerability and the state is vulnerable which means the target is vulnerable now you can also identify if the target is vulnerable using curl as you can see i have given both the commands using curl wherein you can just identify the target is vulnerable by giving by running the curl command wherein https and the host the host is the target server and then the same endpoint wherein we are going to read a file wherein 
uh, the parameter is file name equals to and the payload is etc pass wd so basically we are trying to read the etc pass wd file of that particular server all right so yes nuclei the awesome project discovery team has also released the template to identify this particular vulnerability that is a uh, 5902 into target servers which is running so i love the tools that are being released by project discovery team so they have also released quickly a template which can use which can be used to identify if this vulnerability is running anywhere or not let's get back to twitter and i saw that naham sack recently tweeted wherein he said finally got some what of a poc working for cve 2025902 on july 5th so he has the poc similarly like him all other bug bounty hunters may also need the poc and may also understand that how to exploit these types of servers wherein you can get good amount of bounties if you are reporting this critical bugs all right so we are going to see that today how we can exploit as well as i'm going to show you mass automation where you can just automate this and you can find a lot of servers which are vulnerable to this particular attack and you can mass exploit them and send them the reports so there is a demo poc which was given by the user this username onto twitter wherein he released his poc as you can see over here as you can see this is a big ip server when he gives his payload and sends the payload he is able to see that it gets executed but the payload was hidden it was obfuscated so that we cannot see what it it has been run okay but you can see it says user plus admin at the end but we cannot see the whole payload so it was blurred let's do unblurring of that particular payload so not so blurred payload you can see over here this was the payload which was run which is again a curl request he, he did that using burp we can also do that using curl https the f5 host again the endpoint to tmui this is the particular endpoint and you can see at the end command equals to list plus auth plus user plus admin which means to give the list of the authenticated users and the admin user in case you want to read a file from the target server you can also do that using the second particular command which is the read file command wherein you are, we are going to send the same payload but this time we uh, need the etc pass wd file as you can see file name equals to etc pass wd at the end of this particular payload all right so now it is the testing time enough of talking enough of understanding what is this vulnerability the cvss score it is a remote code execution now we are going to test and we are going to do the automation for mass hunt all right so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you on this particular ip address this ip address i have run a who is on this particular ip address and i have identified that this ip address belongs to microsoft corporation all right so we have identified a high value target and it is Microsoft Corporation that we are going to use. Next thing, we need to identify if this particular IP address is vulnerable or not. For that, we are going to use the nmap script as you can see over here. nmap hyphen hyphen script, the script name which has been here, HTTP vulnerability CVE 2020 nse the target IP or the target server that we are going to test for this particular specific exploit hyphen vv to see the output in verbose mode and we are going to choose the port as 443 and you can see the result over here wherein we see the target is vulnerable as you can see big ip tmui rce vulnerability is present and it is vulnerable these are the listed types of big ip versions and the particular version which is running onto this particular target is vulnerable let us again go here onto the desktop and let me just show you and this is the particular ip which is running the web application on tmui let me just reload this for you so you can see this is actually a web application which is running on this particular ip now our next step would be after identification we are going to do exploitation so for exploitation what we are going to do we are going to run the particular curl script which is given over here as you can see we are running a curl 
to this particular target IP address and the payload that we are going to send is etc pass WD. So once we send this particular payload, you can see we are connected to the particular target on port 443 and let's see if we are able to see the sensitive information. Let me just scroll down and you can see the pass WD file is given over here. So this is the output and we have exploited the server and we have got the etc pass wd file of that particular microsoft server now we can also automate the whole process wherein you can do just mass hunting of a lot of high value targets how to do that for that what we are going to do is we are going to use this particular rce script okay so this particular script to run this script you need shodan cli to be installed into your system and you need a api key so just make an account on shodan and you will be able to use a api key so i have just created my account and this is my api key which you can see over here so what i'm going to do is i have integrated my api key already into my shodan cli and after integrating you will be able to see that it will say uh, it is success let me just show you it will give you this particular output which is successfully initialized and then we are going to run our script so once you run the script which is this script it will automatically start enumerating based on the filter as you can see over here search http.favicon.hash and this hash this particular hash and the fields the ip string the port number and then based on this it is going to be uh, this particular script is also going to apply the payload which is over here as you can see and we are going to read the etc pass wd file from the servers in case the servers are vulnerable we are going to grep and we are going to identify if the server is vulnerable we will get the output to be printed as vulnerable if it is not vulnerable we are going to get the output printed as not vulnerable all right so once i run this you can see you can see automatic uh, automatically the mass scanning starts happening and it identifies that it is vulnerable or not so you can see over here this particular target is not vulnerable let's see more and you can see this particular target is again not vulnerable but these all targets are vulnerable so from here i have chosen a random target which is vulnerable so this was one of the way of choosing a target from here you can just run this for some time and you will be able to scan all the servers which are there on shodan which are running on this particular uh, particular version of big ip server which is vulnerable and which can be directly exploited okay so i have sent the report to microsoft regarding the ip addresses which i have shown you into this video as well as all the ip addresses of microsoft i have scanned most of the ip addresses are scanned by me and most of the reports are being sent already so you can choose any high value targets other than microsoft and you can start reporting to them as well so uh, one last thing that I want to share with every one of you guys is this particular threat intel dot xyz. This is also a good uh, resource that you can use. So let's say this IP address if I want to test I will just hit submit and you can see the site is vulnerable. If you want to see the site up link which means the site is up or down you just you can just click on there and you will be able to identify the site is up. In case guys you get a lot of output of this particular shodan scan wherein you get a lot of ip addresses but you do not know if they are alive or dead so a very basic simple thing you can do is you can run a HTTPX, httpx by the project discovery team or http probe you can run that to identify which of the ips are up or alive then you can run a filter and sort them and again you can do the mass exploitation so yeah all right so we are done for this particular video i hope you guys understood about this particular latest exploit and how we can identify how we can exploit it and how you can utilize a showdown to mass automate and mass exploit this servers for bug bounties and for recon so i hope you guys understood let me just quickly check if there are any doubts or questions into the chat box 
uh, we can discuss for questions if there are some let us quickly see so i'm waiting for questions into the chat box if you have any questions right now i am going to answer your questions we can discuss about that please uh, share the scripts and links in the text yes so everything will be shared all the scripts the nmap script the exploitation script the shodan scanning script everything will be shared into the description of this video once the live stream has ended Uh, so someone has asked uh, where to enter the host into the Shodan script. So you do not need to enter the host into the Shodan script. Why? Because Shodan is going to automatically enumerate all the host from the Shodan search engine. Okay. Because we do not know which particular target is vulnerable. So it is going to automatically based on our filter. It is going to identify the, the big IP F5 servers, all the servers from there. And it is going to enumerate. The servers first and then it is going to run the curl script that we have seen and it is going to identify by running that curl script it is going to grep and filter if it is vulnerable or not vulnerable all right anyone has any more questions into the live chat i hope this will be helpful for every one of you you every one of you can uh, start reporting this bugs. These bugs are very new, very less uh, bug bounty hunters as security researchers have identified this vulnerabilities or yet have not reported. Chances are you may be the first one who is reporting this critical vulnerability. So you can just start reporting this vulnerabilities and there will be huge bounties because this is a critical vulnerability if it does not go duplicate. Okay, so all right, I'm going to end this particular live stream. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I'm very, very happy that you guys joined with me and, I'm, and I was able to share uh, this particular script, the particular attack methodology and how can we automate our attack to do mass hunting. So thank you so much. We will connect back in the next live stream with more attacks, more recon methodologies, more automation till then stay safe take care thank you